If you like country music and you have Sirius Radio in your car, you probably listen to The Highway, Channel 56, and you would know the name and the voice of Buzz Brainerd, who's one of their main hosts and announcers. He'd just been on stage moments before those shots rang out, and he's on the phone with me from Vegas. Buzz, Buzz can you hear me? I can hear you, Heather. Well, good to have you on the program. Very good to know that you're okay after what's happened in Vegas last night. Uh, you witnessed it all, Buzz, so let, tell us your story. Well, um, we were in the um, artist area just off the stage. We just uh, finished up with um, Jake Owen, and then uh, Jason Aldean was on the stage. So we're, we're with the, most of our crew and our friends. And, and uh, uh, actually, it was probably the closest point to Mandalay Bay of the entire um, festival grounds. And um, we just heard this pop, pop, pop noise. And we thought, you know, being the last night of the show and the last uh, you know, the last performer, we thought maybe it was fireworks. And the first series of pops went off, and uh, it, people looked, but nobody really did anything. And then it happened again, and uh, people got curious, and somebody said there was a, maybe a possible power line or something. So we did wander out of the tent, and by that point, um, it was starting to become apparent what was going on. So everybody started to panic a little bit. And in that area, right next to the stage, we dove underneath the tour buses for the artists. Mm -hmm. So we're on the ground, and that's when... Um, some of the dirt started kicking up around us because you could, you know, bullets were being fired there. So uh, we stayed there for a while. Um, they brought uh, Jason off stage along with his wife, and uh, and uh, we, we we were just huddled underneath the buses. And then I don't know if it was a police officer or if it was um, a civilian who said, "We got to go, got to go." So um, they pushed us, the entire crowd back there, to run, and we actually had to cross over the stage to get. You know, that was the most direct route to get away from uh, the Mandalay Bay. So the we, lit uh, up stage. You, a guy's shooting from yes. on high, and you're running across the lit up stage, which is a pretty big target, potentially. Exactly. And now we join the the masses of concert goers, 30,000 people. So now, um, now you're starting to see um, people who are wounded, and you're also seeing people get trampled. So we just ran and ran, and, and, and it, you know, it was sporadic. It would go off for, you know, pop, 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 and stop, and then go again and go again. So people were just, just it was chaos. They were screaming, and um, we just ran. And uh, we, we ended up, I ended up at the Tropicana Hotel. And so we, we found safety there, and uh, they had us hold up there for a while, and they had us on lockdown, as they do uh, most of Vegas right now. So mm -hmm. we... We just left there, and my, I was, I am, or was staying at the Mandalay Bay. And the odd thing is, is my room was 23rd floor, just, just a little ways below where the shooter was, and so I had an entire view of the festival grounds. And I, you know, the last couple of days I'd looked out there, and it, it was crazy. You could see everything, and you could see this large, basic parking lot with a stage and bleachers around the edge. But um, you could see the view of just you know, where everybody was just elbow to elbow, 30,000 people. So, yeah, it, it's crazy to think, you know, that I had the view that the shooter had, and it's, it's scary. Absolutely scary to hear it, chilling to hear it as you lived it. I'm thinking of you underneath the tour buses and the dirt, as you described so uh, incredibly, being kicked up as the, bu as the bullets rained down. Uh, and then running to safety. You you mentioned Buzz that you saw people being trampled, people being who were wounded. Did you actually see people who had been hit? Yeah, um, it, you know we were running as quick as we could, and I had my 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 son uh, was visiting from Los Angeles, and 19 year old son. So I you know he he's 19, but still he's my boy, and I had his hands, and I was just pulling him. We were sprinting, so you know y y y there were people, you know. Like I said, some had been just knocked over, laying on the ground. Some were having a hard time, and and you did, you know, we saw people who had been been hit, and uh, I don't know how badly at the point because we were just just trying to find safety. When I when I say those numbers, 50 dead, 200 injured. I mean, how does that sink in for you, who were there in the midst we of what know. was a celebration? We knew nothing. I mean, there was no information. We we ran and we got to the hotel, and then. Uh, you're, you're all of a sudden in a hotel with a bunch of strangers, and people are trying to find things on the Internet. And, and nobody really knew what had happened. And, you know, uh, the first numbers we heard were two dead. 
and and uh, you know, and uh, we just didn't know. Nobody, we had no information. So um, it's just so sad because I was on a stage um, not long before that, and I looked out, and, and it, there were so many people there. All you saw was a sea of people. I could not see the end of the crowd. It just stretched out that far. And everybody celebrating what had been this incredible music festival. I've heard you talk about it for days leading up, and I know people were so anticipating. And I'm watching reaction on social media from, from some of your artists, people from Kelsey Ballerini right on through to Jake Owen, you said, and uh, Brett Young and, and Jason Aldean himself describing things as beyond horrific. Uh, what kind of impact do you think this is going to have in the country music community? Well, we are a family, you know, I mean, it's um, out of any genre of music. I, I don't know. I mean, I just think that we are family. We we come together, you know, we're we come together for natural disasters. We come together when people need us. We're 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 there for charity. We're there for people in need. So um, if anybody can survive it, this country music family, you know, it's going to have a hard time. It's going to it's going to be painful. But, um, you know, well, I just spent three days with all these people and they, they you know, it was it was a tremendous time, and, and it ended horribly. But I, I know this family will get through it. Buzz Brainerd, thank you very much for the time, uh, and very glad to be able to speak to you. Glad that you were able to, to get to safety with your son and your friends, and thank you for sharing your story with us this morning.